One warning. Beware of short-term fixes. I've said it often. I'm repeating it one more time because you need to understand this. Short-term fixes can seldom be sustained over time. Look, Christ told us to endure until the end. That's what he told us. He said that we would be hated by all nations for his name's sake. That means we know what to do. Look, endure does not mean tolerate harm. Endure does not mean accepting abuse. Endure means that you persevere, you continue with your mission, no matter what. That you are determined to continue with your mission, and because that you are determined to deal with anything that comes your way, that hinders your mission. And as long as it is your way of solving things is in agreement with your mission and does not endanger your mission. If you have soldiers that are sent out um, to a foreign country far away, they need to endure as long as they're there. All right. If let's say you're on a boat going from Europe to America, let's say it's in the 18th century, there were sail ships back then. Let's say that in the beginning of the 18th century, you had no steamships. So people had to endure weeks on the ocean in order to arrive in the new world. So understand this. You will have victory through this lifetime when you follow Christ. But that victory will work out by you enduring. You have to agree with Christ that during his lifetime, you will face tribulation. But also be of good cheer with him because he has overcome the world. Why? Christ tells you the truth. He gives you a short report of how things will be when you follow him during his lifetime. There will be victory despite all the tribulation. Just be sure that your prayers are in line with Christ so that you won't settle for something that Christ never intended for you. So that you won't settle for a trap of the enemy. Because the enemy will use counterfeit peace to destroy many. That's what he's doing with the world. Don't fall for that trap. Well, that being said, be at peace.